What's up, tricksters? My name is Charlatan, your favorite all-time Radiant player in Valorant, esports pro player, and private FPS coach that improved thousands of players in Valorant. You can check out my exclusive coaching programs on my Discord server, and soon you'll be able to buy them on my website as well. If you've been following my grind to rank 1 on twitch.tv forward slash charlatan, you'd know that my top 3 agents that I recommend for climbing ranks and improving faster in Valorant for the past 2 years have been Jet, Omen and Chamber. These agents are going to teach you everything that you need to know about Valorant and they are going to improve all of the skill sets that you need to work on as a player. Much faster than any other character, but you need to understand how to play them properly in solo queue or team environment and to have some kind of strategies on both attackers and defender side for each map. And that's why I'm here. With those three characters, I've reached Radiant in every single act of Valorant with extremely high win rates. And in January this year, I've reached top 74 players in Europe. Today, we are starting a brand new series on my YouTube channel, and that is Radiant Strategies for every single map in Valorant with Jet, Omen and Chamber, or maybe some other agents as well. In this series of videos, I'm going to share with you all of the plays that I'm doing on these three agents and maybe some other agents in future that got me into Radiant. And we are going to start with my beloved Omen. You're going to get enormous amount of free information about these agents that you won't be able to find anywhere else. You will improve yourself as a player on every single map regardless of which agent you're playing at the moment and you will climb Valorant ranks much faster. So even if you're not playing any of these agents there is going to be enormous amount of helpful information regarding the maps and how to play them properly. But for now let's start with a Radiant Omen strategy for every map in Valorant, baby! So let's start with the Execute, my dear friends. First, we have the Ascent. Let's say for an example, your teammates tell you, guys, we are pushing the B site. And you know that your teammates are not that good, like you need to do some kind of an aggressive play, but you also want to support your allies with your utility what type of play you can do and how you should execute the B side. Like, this is just one of the executes. Like, on every single map, I have countless executes with Omen and countless improvisations. Like, you can be predictable in an unpredictable way. Like, there's a lot of things to talk about, but we don't have time for that now because your attention span is zero. We are pushing the B side. So, we clear this main area of the map, like with our teammates, and the egg we are getting ready for the execute. So this is one of my top 5 executes on B set of Ascent. First, we are using this smoke to protect our teammates that are picking the market area of the map. Then we are using the CT smoke here, and then I'm flashing the stairs like this. And then what you wanna do when you come here, you wanna teleport on this little cubby area that you created for yourself. So basically here, teleporting directly into smoke would be way too dangerous, because you don't know if the enemies are playing inside of your smoke or on the outer edge of the smoke. The whole point of this execute is to take the control of front area of the map and to basically support your teammates to come into the site area, like into this front area here, together with you. If they're already scared or passive, like they're CC, like I, I don't know what, move your teammates together with you. Like Omen is a pressure making agent. Like your job is to make the pressure onto the enemies. You don't need to be entry fragger. You don't need to be, I don't know, guy that has like 25 kills every single match, but make the pressure onto the enemies so that your teammates can easily enter into the bomb site through these main areas of the maps and choke points. Now that you've reached this position here, like uh, you need to be aware that one enemy can be standing here. That is the risk that we need to take. As I explain in every single video, we need to gamble in FPS games. Like based on the previous rounds, you can decide how many chances are that enemies are gonna play down there, it's very unlikely that enemies are gonna expect that you are above them and not inside of the smoke. And then, when you complete this play here, so you do this smoke, you do this, what is your next job? So your next job is to 
try to clear this position, this position, and this position for your teammates. And then from this spot here, we have multiple different options. Like you can try to push inside of the smoke and kill the enemies that are inside of the smoke. Maybe if you take the smoke control here, you can extend the push and push the enemies into the market. Or from this position here, you can easily teleport in your second smoke as well behind the enemies or from this position here you can also teleport there and from this spot you can try to contest the enemies into the stairs and enter the site together with your teammates like that is the whole point of omen as a character you are a support and duelist you are a passive player and the aggressive player in the same time you need to adapt yourself and improvise now we are at the spot Split. And we are pushing the A site. Our teammates, once again, they are horrible. Like, they are very passive, they don't want to go in. What is one of the best executes that you can do yourself to make the pressure onto the enemies and execute the A site and pull your teammates together with you into the bomb site? Before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. When this video reaches 1000 likes, I'm going to share the second part of this series and down in the comments please tell me whether you want to see jet omen or chamber strategies in the next video so the round starts like we're starting the round i will always play this corner here to wait for the enemies push onto the a main area maybe the enemies are gonna be aggressive so on streams and in my videos you will always see me in the first like uh, three to five seconds i'm gonna be holding this angle here no matter how much my teammates are in front of me I'm gonna be holding this peak because you never know when the chamber with operator or jet with operator is gonna peak you and your career is gonna be ended immediately, you know? So make sure that you protect your teammates with this type of play. And then when your teammates reach this angle here, you're pushing with them, like you are going in front. Now, we are clearing this position here. And as soon as you get on this spot here or your teammates, you should be doing this smoke here and this smoke here and then flash the enemies on the left side go forward and teleport into this smoke here so this is the top three executes in my opinion on a set of split when your teammates are absolutely bad they don't want to push they don't want to do anything man they're just passive potatoes don't be a passive potato like don't be afraid like you, if you die in a video game trust me you're not going to die in a real life like, like I, I tried it multiple times when you're doing the smokes of omen make sure that you're doing them as your teammates are picking the angles so don't allow your teammates to be exposed from the screens or see the area of the map what is the point of this execute? So the main point of this execute is we are putting this smoke in this like a 90 degree angle. And from this 90 degree angle with this smoke, our teammates are completely covered from the screens area and elbow area of the map. Like the enemies don't see them from, from, the, from those positions. Yes, we are giving the enemies more room to play, but in the same time, we are protecting our teammates and allowing ourselves to do some kind of an aggressive play then when you complete that smoke you put a second smoke up here to completely like uh, protect our teammates and to allow them to push through this choke point then we're going in front of our allies flashing the enemies on the left side because let's be honest like uh, majority of the times your teammates are gonna die from some enemies playing here 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 or behind the box there but what is your next step when you do this execute so we do a 90 degree smoke here we do the tower smoke here flash the enemies on the left side and we teleport inside of our smoke right here from this position here you have enormous amount of different multiple options that you can do first thing that you can do you can pick the enemies and clear the ct area clear that position and clear the site behind the enemies and surprise your enemies and backstab them, baby. Like in a Scream movie. <laughs> the second option that you have when you're doing this type of a play, uh, you can push the enemies from this smoke all the way on the right side, like this. And there is no way that the enemies are gonna expect you. But when you're doing this play, make sure that your crosser is ready for the enemies there and then as soon as you clear that angle we are clearing under position that position and the smoke is giving the cover for our asshole 
from behind so the enemies don't anally penetrate us and we are pushing into the bomb site like this and clearing the site and surprising the enemies so basically when you're playing omen you need to understand that uh, uh, one play even though you execute it in the same way can always look a bit different so let's say for an example enemies start reading this play so they start reading you like a potato like uh, you know like you do this play here you do this like uh, three times in a row you flash the enemies below the site and you teleport in the smoke ah! enemy is inside of the smoke he kills you what can we do in the next round to make this play unpredictable in a predictable way instead of teleporting inside of the smoke teleport in this cubby location here don't teleport i teleported in a very bad way like you need to go a bit more forward and do this also whenever you're teleporting with omen make sure that you're jump strafing so basically jump strafe why your body is in the air and basically enemies if they peek you at that moment of time while you're teleporting maybe they're gonna miss your head they're gonna miss your body or maybe they will not even know where you teleported because you know like your body is in the face of the of, of your teammates did you teleport in the smoke did you teleport up there enemies do not know play with their minds be the 200 iq trickster man that is the omen we can push the enemies once again from the right side like this and we can completely backstab the enemy that is maybe playing here or in our smoke and end his career people say omen is the i don't know bad character brimstone is better astra is better ah, 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 ah. omen is the best solo queue character alongside jet and chamber to climb ranks as fast as possible but if you're playing him in a right way omen is a character that is both dualist and a support you need to figure out how to support your teammates and yourself in the same time and when to activate each mode like when should you be a duelist and when should you be a support that is the main perk of playing omen especially in the lower ranks like below let's say immortal one like from iron one to immortal one omen is insane like you're gonna bamboozle your enemies 10 out of 10 times basically like people don't understand what's happening they're confused you're making the pressure onto them okay tricksters now we are at the fracture fracture is really not the best map like uh, for omen i must agree like it is maybe the second worst map of omen the, the worst map for omen is definitely breeze like on breeze you can play omen only as a secondary duelist or as a main duelist like he cannot be played as a main controller or smoker like viper is must have on breeze we're pushing the b main area here whenever i'm pushing the b main area i'm gonna play some angle like this to wait to see if the enemies are gonna peek us maybe with operator or maybe like uh, they're gonna do some kind of a swing with a flash or i'm just gonna be standing here or i will immediately take out my knife and run to this safety position here and then from this position we are moving slowly into the b main area like if you think the enemies have the operator the best thing that you can do in my opinion is just take your knife out come here immediately and then from this position go slowly towards this choke point right here now uh when we are pushing the b site like the most important smoke for our teammates is the smoke in the ct area like you need to smoke the ct area uh canteen is like uh, kind of whatever like uh, you can smoke it but you don't need to but we need to have the this ct smoke for our teammates then the secondary smoke goes on to bomb site and that is the smoke for us and also our allies basically we are doing a smoke like this so smoke needs to drop down on this lower position here you see where the this green triangle is that is where the smoke should drop and also it needs to be on top of the site so the smoke looks like that now what can we do with this smoke here so when i'm pushing the b site i usually love to flash the enemies on the left side from this angle here so i'm just gonna flash them on the left side and then from this position you can teleport on the lower spot or on the upper spot of this specific angle now how that should look like so basically we're doing smoke there smoke here flashing the enemies on the left side and teleporting here and then from this smoke we can pick the enemies 
from this angle and try to take the back control. We can pick the enemies in the canteen and take the canteen control for our teammates. But also, from this smoke here, you can go on top of the stairs and then from the stairs, pick the enemies that you just flashed and take the side control for your allies. So this smoke here really allows you a lot of ways to outmaneuver your enemies. Like you don't need always to pick them in the same way. Like figure out where the enemies are playing. Aha! Enemy chamber is always playing on top of there with his teleport. So I'm gonna use the smoke here. Use the smoke here. Flash the enemies on the left side. Teleport here. And then immediately with a perfect crosser placement. I'm gonna pick that chamber on that elevated position. But now I'm also gonna teach you how can you have a better crosser placement for, for people that are playing on these upper positions or some kind of a lower position, like any position basically, in the middle of your execute. Like, okay, you're doing the smoke here, doing the smoke here, and now pull out your map, pull out your map, like the, the mini map on the caps lock, and ping the position where you think the, that enemy is playing. Like, use a simple smart ping on that upper position. Flash the enemies on the left side, teleport inside of your smoke, and then from, from your smoke, you will see that smart ping, and you know exactly where you need to place your crosser. Uh, not really exactly, but approximately. It is much better than just randomly swinging out from the smoke with God knows what crosser placement. So use the smart pings for better crosser placement and for the positioning of your utility. So for example, if you want to teleport somewhere else. From this specific play here, I think I can make like uh, at least, I don't know, 10 or 12 different like uh, ways how I can engage the enemies. We have finally reached the best map for Omen and that is Bind. On Bind, I think I have over... 20 different like uh, executes and 20 different ways how you can bamboozle the enemies. This execute on A site I'm usually using uh, when I'm playing the first round and I'm pushing A site, or if I'm playing some kind of an eco round or a half by round. So we can take a shotgun or maybe a specter or maybe like a shorty or classic pistol if you're playing in the first round. In the first round I would buy the classic light shield, two smokes and two shrouded steps. Now. Uh, we are pushing the A site, so you should be doing the smoke in the middle of the site, like this, and the second smoke in the middle of the truck, like this. And then I would let my Sova drone this area of the map here, or maybe the breach uh, will flash me there, or you can tell your jet to dash fast into the lamps. So just tell, to your, uh, tell your teammates to make some pressure here. Like, you should not be the first one going in, but the second one. So tell your teammates to do anything, like, like just a simple boombot will help you execute this type of a play. So you, you need something to cover you from this type of a peak here, like this. So it can be a boombot, a Sova drone, a recon dart, the flash of the breach, they can do anything, like you, you will have something, I don't know, like uh, you're not playing this game alone, it is still a team game. Now, what is your job? when you're doing this execute. So, you wanna do these two smokes, push the A short area of the map, clear this angle, clear this position here, let one of your teammates go in front of you, or I don't know, just tell them to flash you or something. When you reach the middle of the teleporter here, you're pulling out your shrouded steps, and you're jumping and teleporting on top of the truck and moving your body inside of the teleporter. Why did we jump into the teleporter? So, in the middle of the of your teleport, enemies will not be able to kill you. Number one. Number two, we are masking the footsteps of your TP ability. And number three, the enemies that are playing b site will have no effing idea what is happening. They will think that you are maybe rotating towards the b site and they're push their, their rotation is gonna be delayed as well. So this is how this aggressive play to bamboozle the enemies in the lamps and to take the lamps and front side control uh, for yourself and your teammates can look like when you're playing like uh, eco rounds or half by rounds. So you have a specter, light shield, you have one shrouded step, two smokes and paranoia for an example. And we're using one smoke here, one smoke here, flashing the enemies on the left side, pulling out our gun, 
He's leaving that position with cluster placement. Make sure to clear this position, this position, and this position. Pull out your shrouded steps, teleport up here, drop down immediately, and kill the enemy that is in the lamps. And now you have taken the full front and lamps control for your teammates. And now we are at the breeze, my dear friends. Uh, you might think and ask yourself, uh, but Charlatan, Omen is unplayable on breeze, like Viper is much better in other smokers. That is true. That is actually true. I cannot shit about it. And yes, like Viper is must have on breeze. Like if you don't have Viper, you already have 50% lower chances to win like that specific match on breeze. But uh, I sometimes, pick Omen on Breeze as a secondary duelist because I feel that there is no need to have a Reyna or let's say Rays or let's say Phoenix or Neon on this map and you can actually play a team composition with Viper, Omen and Jet and you can have like a, a Omen that is actually aggressive duelist that is supporting the Jet and Viper is the main controller that is doing the smokes for the whole team. So let's say for an example you're pushing the A side together with your teammates and you wanna be aggressive on Breeze with Omen and support your Jet or your Reyna or whoever is getting into the site. When I'm pushing the A main area I always love to go from, the, from this uh, cave area here. I don't like to go from the shop because uh, in the shop there is always some kind of a danger that enemies might pick you with operator like this and kill you or they're gonna push you with the shotguns i i don't do that stuff i don't do that stuff i always push the a set of breeze to the cave and i always make sure that i jump spot the enemies or pick them from this elevated position here uh because you never want to die like if, if you're dying in the cave area from the operator that is playing there you're an imbecile, like an like absolute potato. We are pushing the A side slowly with our teammates. Like, you, you make sure that you have a crosshair placement for all of the areas of the maps where the enemies can be. But we are also imagining that the Viper Smoke is right here. Now, your job is to reach this position here. And what you want to do, you want to do one smoke on top of the... Uh, on top of the bridge area there that is gonna be very good smoke for the post plant and to delay the enemy's push and to also Cover like multiple different angles from which your teammates can die uh, when, when the viper smoke fade, fades out and the second smoke We are using as a mid-air smoke right here. So we are using one smoke here one smoke in the air here flashing the enemies on the left side and teleporting as the smoke is going down smoke is going to create the cover for this play and then when you end up on this position like when you when you successfully teleport on this elevated point you need to think fast like you need to use your brain like where did you see the enemies in the previous rounds are they playing there are they playing there are they playing there make sure that you place your crosser on the angle where you've seen the enemies before and try to destroy their lives with this specific execute very easy, nothing like, uh, you know, 300 IQ, but also very beneficial in some rounds when you need to be aggressive and when your teammates are way too passive or they are way too afraid to go into the bomb site. Also, when you're doing the flash from this position, you don't need always to do it on the left side. If you think the enemies might be playing this corner and waiting for your teleport up there to kill you, uh, then it is a bit better that you use the flash on the right side. So now you're completely safe to do that specific execute. Now, if you're following my streams on Twitch, you know that I absolutely love to play Omen on Icebox. Like, the amount of great plays that you can do here with Omen is actually insane. On both attackers and defenders side, like, your smokes can have so much impact for yourself and your teammates. But today we're just gonna discuss one very simple but very effective execute when you're taking the B-side control. So, whenever you're taking the B-side control, there are, like, multiple different ways how you can, like, uh, engage the enemies and allow your teammates to pick the enemies here. But what I usually love to do, I love to come to this angle here and then jump and teleport behind the box here. And then from this position, pick the enemies that are playing up there or there or below me or wherever the F enemies are. And then I'm dropping down, clearing the B main area together with my allies, watching where the enemies are, and I'm waiting until me and my allies reach this position right here. So, 
when you're doing this, like, uh, uh, you can also just, uh, I don't know, like, uh, jump spot the enemies and then push with your teammates, or you can push the enemies from this position and clear all of the angles one by one, and then get, re get yourself ready for the execute onto B side, but I feel that... Uh, this is the best way to surprise the enemies and to basically support your allies from this elevated position. So your allies are below, you're on this upper position, and the enemies are going to have much harder time killing both you and your allies. And you're going to put a lot of pressure onto the enemies. Make sure that when you're doing this type of a play, this teleport, that you're always jumping. So you teleport behind the box there. Now, we have cleared the B main area and we are ready for the execute on the B side. What is one of my favorite executes on B when my... Actually, I do this execute almost all the time. It's like not only when my teammates are bad, but also like to surprise the enemies and to try to bamboozle them. So, I'm using the smoke in the CT area like this. Like this smoke is very important and you should always have it. Then, I'm using the smoke on tower like this. So I'm smoking the right side of the tower. I'm flashing the enemies on the tower and below the tower and teleporting in this little cubby position that I created for myself. And from this spot here, you can pick the enemies that are playing behind your smoke in CT. You can push the enemies through your smoke into the uh, kitchen area of the map and try to outmaneuver them and bamboozle them. Or... From this smoke here, if you position it like this, pay, pay a close attention, like this, and it has this small gap here, you can actually peek the en enemies that are be behind the site. I, I don't know how to speak English. So, as you can see, you have multiple different options that you can do when you're doing Omen Executes. Like, you can be unpredictable in so many ways. And now we have the last map for us, and that is Haven. On this map, once again, enormous amount of combinations, enormous amount of plays that you can do, but today I'm just gonna showcase you one play on C site. When you're pushing the C, like the default smokes of Omen should look like this and like this. But if your allies are dying way too many times from the enemies that are playing operator behind the site or on top of the site, this is what you can do. So you're doing one smoke here and one smoke on top of the site here. Then uh, you wanna make sure that some of your teammates flash for you or I don't know, like uh, uh, pick a good timing to run towards this smoke or like this game is played on timings and, and it's, it is a team play game. Like you need to have some kind of a flash, uh, some kind of a drone, some kind of a recon ability or just let one of your teammates in front of you when you're doing these type of plays. So what is your job after you do a smoke here and a smoke up here. So your job is to get into this cubby position here and flash the enemies on the right, like this. And then push the a C site together with your teammates, teleport on top of this smoke here, and then from this smoke you can do whatever you want. Like basically from this position you can pick the enemies that are there and kill them after your teammates make the contact with the enemies. That is one more thing with all of these executes with Omen. Like, you don't need to be the first one that is peeking outside of your smoke. Like, you can just chill in your smoke. Just wait for, like, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds until your teammates start pushing the sea long area of the map and then peek on the contact of your teammates, your enemies. Use your brain! That's why coaching and having a mentor to teach you these things is very beneficial for you. Also, why is this smoke here so good? Uh, because it is a one-way smoke uh, for the enemies that are at the back of the site. So enemies cannot peek you like this. And uh, that is actually a very, very beneficial thing for your teammates that are pushing the sea long area. And this smoke here is protecting your allies completely from the garage area of the map. And as you can see, like Omen is not only the support character. He is a duelist as well. Like, he's not a controller. Like, Omen is nothing. Like, he doesn't exist uh, in, 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 in the ranking of, of Valorant. Like, uh, he is what you make out of this character. You have a flash, you have a movement ability, you have a smoke, you have a teleports. Like, what else 
do you need? And that's it for today, my dear tricksters. The second part of strategy series will be released when this video reaches 1000 likes. And down in the comments, make sure to tell me whether you want to see Jet, Omen or Chamber in the next episode. Meanwhile, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, check out my website or Discord server for private Valorant coaching, follow me on twitch.tv forward slash charlatan and links to the other social media are down in the description below. I'm yours one and only warden of the tricksters community. Thank you for watching and cut baby.